Hey guys, I want to take a video showing off a project I did back in high school. That was about six years ago now. You might be able to tell from the display, it's actually the classical Pong game. But there is no microprocessor in there, it's all in discrete logic. And I'll go over all of that in a little bit. As you can see, I have my playing field here. There's 10 uh, rows, 16 columns. Now actually, the two of those rows are just used for decoration. They're always on. I'll show you that in a minute. So it's actually 8 uh, playing rows by... 16 but the two outer ones are used for paddles so just let me give you a quick overview this is what the controls actually are they're just two potentiometers one here there's one over there on their front as you can see there's my LED grid a uh, bunch of resistors these resistors are actually only for the paddles because only one LED is ever on at a time I'm only using one resistor there so all of these resistors are for the paddle LEDs and two of them are on at a time. I'll show you that a little bit. I have scoring which goes 0 through 99 and resets. Nothing happens if you win. It just so you have an idea of the score. And then a bunch of these chips are, I think those are binary counters and then these are seven segment uh, decoders. I forgot what this one is. And then that's my start and reset button. When it starts up it'll be paused and that's the start reset. So that's the front board. There's actually four boards on here, which, as you can see, is kind of insane. Let me show you the back of the front playing field board. You might not be able to get a good look in there, but pretty much, as you can see, I have the display matrix. So rows and columns going to all these wires. The paddles have their own logic, so that's what these green wires are on the side. And you might be able to tell on there the mess that is all the wiring for the score. Let me see if I flip that around real quick. As you can see, all these chips are right next to each other. So I actually have to take a wire and solder point to point to every connection. And that's kind of what that looks like. Going on to the second board. Over here I have, from what I remember, uh, four binary up-down counters and uh, binary to one of 16 decoders. Two of them aren't being used, but two of them are. One is used for X position of the ball, and one is used for Y position of the ball, and I think it's these two. And then these two are unused. I think, I don't remember. Because initially I was going to have digital paddles where you press a button, it'd go up, press another button, it'd go down. So, since my teacher recommended to do it an analog way, I added the potentiometers, and then I'm just not using two of these counters. But these big chips are the binary to one of 16 decoders, and then I have two counters here, and then I have inverters for some other logic. So that's my second board. Show off the bottom of that. Like I said, only half of this board is used, so, nah. On the third board, once I open it, it's mostly empty. This was the among the later editions is I have sound, so I have two five fives, one for, one's for duration, one is for the tone with a little uh, speaker, and then all these diodes up here where my uh, finger is, these are actually a bunch of AND gates. So I could have used ICs, but I felt like being a little bit weird, a little bit different, so I actually made a bunch of AND gates out of tons of diodes and resistors. Bottom of that board is, as seen here, so this is my tone generation, and those are my AND gates. Now, my last board, which is all the way down here, has my ADC. So, these are a bunch of op amps. I have a, it's a normal ADC, it's just the ladder. So I have a resistor with a bunch of diodes, and each one of these diodes represents a position. And then as you turn the pot, the ADC will go up the ladder. So this is a reference to all those diode references, so I have a bunch of outputs, I think seven or eight, where it'll go up so as you turn the pot, the outputs will go up, so these four chips are all op amps, and then these four chips, I don't even remember what they are this was so long ago so that's the bottom half of this board is my ADC, and I have two pots here, these are my 255 uh, timers for the X and Y, so you can independently control the speed it goes horizontally and the speed it goes vertically and then above those I have paddle logic as you can see the green wires go to there and there and this actually controls the 
width of the paddle, if you will, because my ladder turns on all the LEDs in the chain. So the first one would be on, and it turns them all up, depending on how high the voltage is. Then what I do is, uh, with some logic, I isolate only one LED, so the highest LED, and then I turn that logic into two LEDs. So instead of being the single highest one, it's actually the two highest ones. So that's what I do with logic back there and logic on... Well, the end gates are used for scoring. That's what all these end gates are for. So when I actually detect the ball, I check the position of the paddle, I check the position of the ball, and if they're aligned, then it bounces back. Otherwise, the opponent gets a score. So this does the collision detection, if you will. And then I'm pretty sure down, yeah, down here is the drivers for the paddles. So here's the bottom of that board. Now it took me a long time to do this. I started in my junior year and I finished in my senior year working on it off and on. It just it became very tedious always working on it. So let me power it up and show you what it does. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt dealing with these wires. Now this whole thing runs off 5 volts. I have mixed logic. I have TTL and CMOS in here, but that works just fine. I just see my power supply. Let me plug that up. Now the where I'm plugging it up is I have this little uh, wire <laughs> extended out with a little piece of tape which is positive. And I have this ground wire up here. So this is the start of the display. I obviously get a bunch of crap because nothing is properly initialized. As you can see right now it's drawing one amp. So it's drawing quite a bit of current. And if I press the start button, there it goes. And right now we're drawing around, it'll drop to one and a half amps at some points, but <clears throat> as you can see, I'm not sure. So this player two. Now you can probably hear when it's bouncing off the paddle, it'll actually make a tone. <clears throat> and this is player one. Looks like one of the LEDs is out, and you had that LED right there. So we're going to have to fix that. I usually leave this at the high school so to be used as a demonstration, but no, uh, got to turn the voltage a little bit higher. Every once in a while, it uh, wire breaks or something happens, so I just have to fix it. Yeah, that one LED. I think, I'm not sure if it's the LED or if it's the wire or what it is, but uh, yeah, as you can see, this one goes all the way down. All the way up. Uh -huh. Player two, all the way down. All the way up. I don't have any capacitor signal pins, so sometimes you'll get jittering. Actually, if you do it just right, you can actually get three paddles on. That's not actually three paddles, just oscillating very quickly because I don't have any filtering. But it's fine. I, I like the little uh, bugs it has. And as you can see, every time it scores, it actually keeps going back to your side until you deflect the ball. It may seem only it may seem more than one LED is on, but only one LED is ever on at a time. The camera might be picking up two or three. And then this also resets the score. Yeah. At least I could beat a stationary paddle. I am in playing one handed though, so it's a little bit hard. Now initially when I did the game I didn't have sound or scoring, I just had the paddles and the ball, but then because I wanted to make it a little bit neater, first I added the scoring and then I added the sound, so I like how it turned out, but yeah, it's turned into a, <laughs> it took me uh, over a year to do working off and on, so, but yeah, that's my Pong project, just figured you guys might appreciate seeing it, seeing how it works, and yeah, I'll have to fix that one LED. Alright, thanks for watching.